Okay, guys. So last week we looked at open number lines. Remember, those are the number lines that didn't have any tick marks or the little lines. But now we're going to look at number lines with tick marks. Okay, these have the lines. We're going to look at these and see what they're counting by on each tick mark. So let's look. We have 30, 31, 32, 33. Do y'all see a pattern? What do you see that they are counting by? Yeah, let's say it out loud, loud and proud. Yeah, they're counting, counting by ones. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. <gasps> but wait. We have a missing number. What do we know when we're counting by ones? How can we fill that number in? 36 something, 38. What number should go in the middle? Yeah, 37. That number should be 37 because it follows the pattern of counting by ones. Let's look at another example. Ooh, this time we have February. Let's look. 30, uh-oh, we have another blank, but this time it's at the beginning, so we don't have a pattern yet. So we need to look at the rest of these numbers around this blank and see how we can fill it in. So let's look. How are they counting? What is the pattern between 34, 36, 38, 40, what do you see? Are they counting by ones? No, because if they were counting by ones, it'd be 34, 35. So let's see, 34, 35, 36. Oh, let's see if that follows the same pattern of counting by twos now. 36, 37, 38. Wow. Let's see if it does it one more time just to be on the safe side. 38, 39, 40. So now we see that they're counting by twos. So how can I figure this one out? Let's look at 30 and let's start counting by twos. So 30, 31, 32. Ah, so this number right here must be 32. 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44. Ah, there's another missing number. 44, 45, 46. Remember, I'm gonna count by my twos. So this number is 46, 48, 50. Great job, let's do a couple more examples for us. We're gonna move now into March. Let's circle our missing numbers first off. I see two missing numbers. And I'm gonna write what they're counting by here at the bottom of the number line. I want y'all to do that as well when we're working. Just so we know what they're counting by. So let's look. 20, 25. What is the distance? What is what is in between, the space in between, each of these points, the distance. So 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. What am I counting by? Maybe fives. Let's see if that pattern works. I can't figure out the distance here because I don't know this missing number. Can't figure it out here. I don't know this missing number. So let's look at the distance between these two. 35 and 40. So 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. I still got that same pattern. So we see that they are counting by fives. So now we gotta figure out these missing numbers. Let's figure it out. So we have 25 as our starting, and we need to figure out this missing number. So 25, 26, 27, 28, 
So 9, 30. All right, let's figure out this one. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Remember, I'm counting by fives. Now, what if I only had these numbers to go by and I didn't have any of these numbers to count forward with? How would I figure out this number if I knew this one? Yeah, I'm just gonna count backwards. So 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45. So remember, when I go to the right, they get bigger. And when I go to the left, they get smaller. Remember when I get bigger, I add. And when I get smaller, I subtract. All right, we're gonna do one more example. Maybe two if we're lucky. Okay, so we see we're starting at 40. We gotta circle those missing numbers so we can clearly see it. 40, ah, I don't have these two. So it's gonna be really hard for me to count forward. So I might want to count backward to the left. So let's look at the distance between these two numbers. We have 70, 80, 90, and 100. 80, let's count. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. Oh, it looks like I might be counting. Remember to include this on your number lines by tens. Let's see if that pattern is the same between these two, between 90 and 100. So 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. It follows that same pattern of 10. So remember, because we're going to the left, we're gonna get smaller. That means we have to subtract or count backwards. So let's try to find this missing number first. We have 70, 69, 68, 67, 66, 65, 64, 63, 62, 61, 60. Look, remember I'm still counting by tens. All right, let's try to figure out this number. Count backwards again with me. 60, 59, 58, 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51, 50. Great job, guys. All right, so because we are counting upwards, we would add 40, 50, 60. Here we're going left. We're going to count backwards. We're going to subtract. So 70, 60, 50. We all know we're counting by tens. We figured out the distance in between the spaces, in between the two numbers. All right. What if I were to say I wanted to look for the distance between this point, this 40, and the 60. How would I do it? How would I figure out this big distance? I know my points, so I would just have to count up. So 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So the distance between this 40 and 60 is 20. Okay, I just wanted to figure out how far apart two things were, two spaces. All right, guys, I want y'all to start doing your practice with me now.
All right. Bye.